It's crafty. I'm so excited you're with me. Thanks to everybody on Facebook who's joining me as well. Everybody who's my friends out there. We talk a lot about crafting on my Facebook page. But now we're going to move on to something else. Anna is in the wings, but I am so pumped to do this before we get to Anna Griffin in Atlanta. This is one of the coolest ideas I have ever seen. Do you know nowadays, really a lot of us are trying to get our crafting stuff organized and Totally Tiffany does that brilliantly. What they have created and what she created is the neatest idea. I love this. How many of us have a gazillion of these metal dies and they are just everywhere. Well, imagine if you had one place you can customize, customize and organize your space to be able to have all your dies in one position in one place. And then if you want to get the upsell item to go with it, you turn it over and you can actually do all the dies on the bottom of this. So that's indeed kind of the heart and soul of the die storage file box with the tab shelves. It's like having all of those dies that we love but can never find all in one convenient space. Now I'm going to grab, and I'm very excited because Holly Fossens is joining me and she's joining me from right here in Florida. And welcome back, Holly. It's good to see you again. Hey, Suzanne, did I just hear Beth talking about fabulous cats and die cuts in her shiplap? Yes. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. All that of the is pretty above. awesome. Now that we have these mountain of dies, I was just reading the reviews about this great desk made by Totally Tiffany. Yep. The, one of the reviewers said, I have a mountain of dies. I don't know where they're at, all at. She said, I, I, my stamps get separated from my dies. She loves this simply because you're doing this great hardy um, solid wood box and each one of these in this box each one has a shelf there's 10 shelves and we've also given you 60 magnet strips it's going to allow you to put all your dies in one place i love this because i spend a lot of my time digging for my stamps that go with my dies now i can put everything i need all in one spot you can see here these are the magnet strips they're self-adhesive and what you do is, <clears throat> when you get this home, actually the first thing you do is make sure there's no dust on it. And then after you get it home, you're gonna just take one of the strips and you're, but before you do that, you're gonna lay out all your dies and you're gonna put them exactly where you want them. And then you're gonna add these beautiful strips. Now these are unique to Totally Tiffany. She made this white finish because she wants to make sure um, because these particular types of magnets let the dies move around easily so you can have easy placement and you can also pull them off quickly. So you're gonna pull the strip back off of the back here. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay this down in the center, spaced out. And when you press it down, you're gonna make sure all the air is out of it. And you're gonna make sure you leave space on the sides so that you can get it back into your box as well as you can handle the boards. And then you put it on like this and you can add your dies. Or, Suzanne, these also cut. You can cut these to make these custom size for smaller dies. So really the options are endless. And just like you said, if you buy the additional strips, not only can you use the front, but you can also use the back size as well. First, I'm gonna start with this one and show you, these are all my nesting dies. <clears throat> now, what I did was I numerically knew, numbered them. I put these strips on, as you can see, they hold them great. And then what I did was, is I pre-cut all of these. So what I did is I created my own map to be able to, to know exactly what they look like. And then on the very end, I put on my tabs, frames, tags, and borders. Now this box holds 10 of these. And then, like I said, if you get the additional magnets, you can flip it over and look, wow. I can put them on the back as well. So now I'm getting double my space, right? Hey, now, Holly, real quick, let me give you guys an update. Before we went, even went on the air with this, we had already sold 300 of these online. For those of you, I think this is so important because I love them. If you have those cube systems, like the wall of cubes, and you're like, okay, I really want to get super organized. Holly, I think one of the most brilliant things is those fit in those cubes perfectly. So if you have those famous 12 by 12 cubes and you've got a wall or you're thinking about getting organized, right, Holly, these will fit into those perfectly whether you do them yes. vertically or horizontally mm -hmm. so that's the, and that's part of the brilliance of the design and because we sold we pre-sold so many i do not have a lot of these left now remember you are getting in our kit 60 of the adhesive back magnetic strips but if you really really want to go for it and get yourself incredibly organized we have the additional magnetic pack of 60 strips but unfortunately i only have about 150 of these now remaining so you're getting plenty to go with it but to really max this out, think about getting what's left in my extra magnetic right. strips before they're sold out. Well, you know, 
The other thing too, Suzanne, is what's, uh, now for instance, these are my Christmas dies, right? I, I labeled it Christmas up here. Like I said, there's 10 slots. So you're going to be able to literally add hundreds of dies to the box just as you purchase it. You're going to be able to double that number by adding the additional ones. Now here is an example of words, right? So I may not recognize the words, they're kind of hard to read. You always want to make sure when you also, another pro tip here, make sure your dies are flat side down. They hold on best with the magnets. But if you look here, I actually cut these through my die cutting system and then I laminated it. Now you don't have to make it that fancy. You can just put it in a notebook and a sleeve. And then if I lay it over like this, I know exactly what my dies say, what they look like. Will they make sense to go with my cards or my layouts? But here's another really cool thing. These little pouches or the containers that your stamps and your embossing folders come in, you can actually cut those strips. Remember I told you you could cut them? Oh, great. You can stick those in here and then just add them to the bottom magnet. And guess what? You have everything exactly like you need it right there, ready to go right back into your shelf. Stick it right back into the front and you'll be able to know what it is. Now this, we did Christmas. You could do it by, by theme, by designer, however you choose to do it. Yeah, I, that is a brilliant idea. Also guys, I just wanna show right? you too, even if you don't have the storage containers, look how nice they look. Can you have this on your desk and you just pull it out or on a shelf, maybe an origami shelf, and all of a sudden you go, oh, I need my Christmas dies and stamps, I've got it. Oh, I need all, we have a ton of dies. We love them. We just bought a whole lot more from our diamond press a folks. A mountain what? Of Yeah, dies. it is, they are a mountain, and we can never <laughs> find them, we never know where they are. This is how you do it. And here's what we have is a this day only. Why is that important? The price is on sale only until midnight tonight. And obviously we're coming to the close of the day here on the East Coast. We have six flex pays. That's awesome. You can get this home for around $12. You pay it off in a half a year and you have 30 days to try it out and you can return it if you don't love it. But for me with flex pay, this is where you want to stock up. Because if you buy all that stuff and we aren't using it, why buy it in the first place? And you know what I realized with this, Holly, is you'll really use a lot more of the stuff we've collected simply because I you have do. easy access to it. Well, I was telling you earlier, I, I just got done, of course, I've, I've looked around my house to see all these things that really need to be organized. I've had a lot of time with this. I actually found dies and stamps that I have never used and didn't realize I had. Right, right. right? So <laughs> here's an alphabet, right? Again, these strips are beautiful because it's, look how easy it is for me to take off, but look how well they stick right on the strip. Here's an alphabet. Again, what I did with this is, is I actually ran it through my Xyron. I actually did put them together so I knew what they looked like, which I just love, right? Or you could put it in a notebook and then you just lay them on top of here. And when you pull that particular board out, you see exactly what you have. Now, Suzanne, also, if you're in the middle of a project, this is perfect, right? You could make one your project board. You started a 12 by 12 layout. You have all the pieces. You didn't get a chance to finish it. You put that on top of here and put it all back with the dies and the pieces you were using. Now look at this. This is my idea book. I'm gonna put that here as well. And now I have everything right here in one location. Remember, you're gonna get 60 of the strips. You're gonna get one of these boxes with the 10 shelves like you see here, when you pull these out very simply to come in and out, all your dies are right there just waiting for you to be able to use them all in one spot, which is so ideal because like I said, mine are a hot mess. So <laughs> it's time to really get them organized and take the time. The other thing too, is I've noticed is even if I just put the dies on here, I don't necessarily know how some of the nesting works or I don't remember. So in some of these pouches, if you add those as well, which by the way, these are available on hsn.com, you can add a picture of what you have in the back so sure. that you can always see it and know what you're making. All right, Ms. Holly, we gotta wrap it up. Thank you so much for joining us throughout the day. Thank it's you. been wonderful. All right, take care. Bye, Holly. Yeah. It's a little different being apart from everybody. All right, let me give you a quick update on our today's special and do stay on the line for this. I think it's brilliant. There are two